All right, guys, so this is it right here. This is my homemade little deer feeder or whatever feeder is what it's really going to be. But all I did was uh, take that down a little better. So you see here, five gallon bucket, lid on top, keep it dry. Um, stuff really can't get into it. Um, down here, just a little hole. So when they eat, when they hit this, more corn, more corn comes out. When they eat up here and they're hitting with this. And then this here is just like a Snapple. It's like a juice jug I cut in half and screwed into the bottom here. You just kind of fill this up so they know what to do. Throw this around. Over there I got my minerals. But um, up here water doesn't get in because this lid did have a the hole punched out in it. And then I don't know if I should make this hole a little bigger or what, but I think that's pretty good right there, actually. And I'll reinforce it with some duct tape. There soon. Get some more of this out here. We don't want it too heavy to weight now. So yeah, when deer hit this, comes out. I'm gonna have a camera probably on this over my minerals and then switch it. But it holds about 25 pounds of uh, corn. I'm using the apple, uh, tree line apple flavored because it's only 40 cents difference between the normal and my, uh, um, between the normal and the apple. So I got my stand tree right there. Um, about 20 yards from here. I got this little mud area but uh no you can see the deer always come through here see some tracks and stuff but uh yeah hopefully get done october rut early season this year hoping i can get her done no promises hopefully i can get some filmed but i don't know but uh thanks for watching and again just a little hole cut down here and you can i cut the piece out so you can adjust how much of a gap you got and then bottle lid set it up on a stump so it ain't on the ground but other than that that's all you gotta do and it works pretty well my first year trying it but as you can see that works pretty good so all right thanks